Uh, we're pleased to have guests and City High School student Chelsea James with us today. Chelsea wrote the winning essay in the school's contest regarding Black History Month. Mr. Blackwell, principal of Guest and City School. And Ms. Chelsea, would you please come up? <laughs> I want to uh, thank the members of the council and Mr. Nelson as well for allowing us to do this as a reward to uh, Ms. James for this contest. So, gentlemen, thank you for letting us uh, have this honor. We had a, a contest, and it was our Black History, during Black History Month, for an essay, for a short essay that the students, if they won, or the students that won, will be able to come to the council as a reward to be able to recite this in front of you guys, and as well as we know that it'll be on TV. Had uh, countless entries. We broke it down into uh, different teachers, different administrators, looking over, picking the few that uh, would move on to the next stage. And I, had, I don't have Miss Katie here. Some of you may know Miss Katie. She's our government teacher. She has a torn ligament in her foot, so she's having trouble getting around. So, <laughs> so she's not here, but she was. She helped uh, tremendously, along with Miss Howard. I don't know if you know Miss Howard, that she helped as well. And uh, Miss James came out as our winner. Uh, you know, there were several different teachers that looked at it. You know, it was kind of a you don't know whose name it was, and so there wouldn't be any type of opinion on who the student was, so it was kind of anonymous until at the end you read the name. So Ms. James was our winner, and I could stand here and give you all kind of accolades for Ms. James. You know, some of you already know her. She is an outstanding student, and she's already a little bit nervous as it is, so I don't want to carry on about her and make it even, even worse than what it is. But uh, <laughs> once again, I do thank you for allowing us the time, and at this time I'll let Ms. James read her essay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Chelsea James, and I'll be reading my essay on what Black History Month means to me. Today's society should not only celebrate the African American heroes in the month of February, but they should also remember them year round. Black History Month gives people the chance to reflect on African American inventors, activists, slaves, and even athletes. But to me, it is a month to recognize the brilliance of the African-American race and makes me proud to be an African-American woman. Black History Month covers three main topics, motivation, determination, and the final destination. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. proved to be a zealous motivational speaker for African-Americans. Even though he has passed, his message still lives on. Every, every February, people are realizing what I have known all along, that the promotion of African Americans is highly important, and our ancestors have made a terrific differ, difference in this country. With the strong will of African American people, conquering feats such as coming out of slavery, earning the right to vote, and fighting for civil rights have created solid foundations to build an ongoing legacy for the future. And so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. All right. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. This excerpt from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech persuaded the African American people to have faith even in the worst of times. Dr. King motivated blacks to perform peaceful protests for civil rights, and as a result of this, success came slowly as a victory to the African American people. Today, Dr. King is praised for the series of peaceful marches, boycotts, and other feats in order to gain civil rights for African Americans. Motivating the new generation to look at trials from a peaceful standpoint. To me, he symbolizes the struggle of a Christian trying to follow what is right by refusing to conform to the world around him. Without this boost of motivation, there is no telling what would have become af of African Americans during this time period. With motivation comes determination to finish out what one has started. And Nelson Mandela is the perfect depiction of a determined leader for the African American people. I am fundamentally an optimist. Whether that comes from nature or nurture, I cannot say. Part of being optimistic is keeping one's head pointed toward the sun, one's feet moving forward. There were many dark moments when my faith in humanity was sorely tested, but I would not and could not give myself up to despair. That way lays defeat and death. 
This famous quote by Nelson Mandela shows the determined attitude he had about changing the world. Mandela showed the world that patience and determination are required for many situations in life. Without determination, nothing would get done efficiently, and the effectiveness that determination has had on the African American population is shown through our current president, Barack Obama. The final destination for success ends with fulfilling one's true purpose in life. President Barack Obama is the opening chapter of the final destination. He went into the presidential race with the motivation to change the way American was, America was operating, determination to win the race and improve the American way of life, and his final destination is to get everyone to see the boundless opportunities waiting to be taken by expanding the knowledge, health, and sensitivity of all Americans. Focusing your life solely on making a buck shows a certain poverty of ambition. It asks too little of yourself because it's only when you hitch your wagon to something larger than yourself that you realize your true potential. This quote by Obama proves once again that involving oneself in something that affects numerous people shows one's true zeal for life and purpose. To sum up my thoughts, the motivation sparked by Martin Luther King Jr. showed African Americans that we are worth more than the treatment of second class citizens. The determination of Nelson Mandela proved no feat is great enough to quit. The opening of the final destination by President Barack Obama expresses the intensity of African Americans to become a defining factor in America. Black History Month shows everyone the impact that African American leaders have on America. To those who already know, it stands as a reminder of who African Americans are and foreshadows that there is only more history to come. Thank you.